PM. Research, but here in India, Indian doctors have used this science to cure an eight year old girl of thalassemia. In fact, cord blood stem cells from her sibling were used to treat her of thalassemia. Minakshi Mahadevan has this report. My name is Samara Barney. I'm nine years old. What you are going to see is a true story. My story. Eight-year-old Tamara Barney's family had lost all hope of saving her six years ago when she was diagnosed with thalassemia major. But when a doctor suggested that Tamara could be cured through a cord blood stem cell transplant, it was a sign of hope for the family. A hope that has today become a reality. When the doctor told me that I should consider another child for the stem cell banking, I was not too sure, but we went ahead. Luckily for Tamara, she had a perfect HLA match with her sibling whose cord blood stem cells were extracted and preserved for one year. And finally, in March 2009, Tamare underwent the stem cell transplant at the Apollo Hospital in Chennai. Here we had a sibling who actually had a perfect HLA match, so we could collect the stem cells and actually transfuse it. Life Cell International, the stem cell bank, had preserved Pugarendi's stem cells free of cost. The concept of umbilical cord blood stem cell banking is still not reached the masses, I mean less than 0.1% of the families actually have the uh, child stem cells stored. Besides thalassemia, stem cells extracted from the cord blood can be used to cure other serious diseases including leukemia, other cancers and blood disorders, with research on in 80 other fields. Now that the six-year-old Tamara is healthy, doctors are hoping cord blood banking gets a boost. With Minakshi Mahadevan in Chennai, the Pikakora. All right, joining us now, one of the men who actually brought that story together, Mayur Abe, is the executive director of Life Cell International, the agency that preserved those stem cells for a year. We understand we, you preserve them a year free of cost. Uh, Mr. Abe, uh, tell us about this case. It's being seen as India's first really successful um, cord blood uh, transplant. Just give us a sense of what this particular case of little Tamirai is going to mean for the research in India. Uh, cord blood stem cells from a sibling have a much better chance of success and also offer a much better chance of an HLA match for the recipient. 70% uh, of the people who suffer from leukemia, thalassemia or anemia die just waiting for a match to be found. With cord blood stem cells being available from a sibling, they have a much better chance of success and of survival too. Um, Cord blood stem cells have now been used for over 40, uh, 20 years. Uh, it was pioneered in the U.S. and in 2004, LifeCell brought this technology to India. Right. Uh, Newer applications are being discovered uh, for uh, treatment of newer generation of disorders like cerebral palsy and also for juvenile diabetes. So as we go, more number of applications for cord blood uh, stem cells would be found. Absolutely, but having said that, it, it still isn't as prevalent. One would like to understand from you, what are the big concerns that people do have when it comes to perhaps saving up their cord blood cells uh, for uh, generations ahead? Uh, sure. A lot of people think that only if I have a genetic disorder uh, would I need to preserve the stem cells of my child. Uh, that is not true. I mean, a lot of these diseases are not genetic uh, in, the, uh, in nature. Uh, a lot of people also think that this stem cell uh, banking is very expensive. It is very affordable and much more affordable than people think. Uh, it costs as low as 3,500 rupees a month to store them uh, for the first 12 months and just 3,500 rupees a year thereafter. A uh, lot more awareness needs to be uh, available because we know a lot of parents come back to us and tell us, when they hear about this on a later date, I wish I, kn I could have saved my car, child's cord blood stem cells. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and if people are made aware at the right time, this could be life saving. But, but do you see this as, as something that's become, going to become a routine? Uh, Mr. Abe, in the US for example, so much controversy over just the idea of stem cell research. Uh, do you face any kind of, uh, any kind of opposition here in India? Uh, let me separate the uh, controversy from uh, the embryonic stem cell research and the adult stem cell. Uh, we do not uh, use any embryonic stem cells, so there is no harm that's caused either to the mother or the child. It's a very safe procedure. In fact, the 
umbilical cord blood is generally discarded after the child is born. Here, the collection can be done within 10 minutes of delivery and can be done uh, without uh, uh, any, dis uh, any uh, harm to any right, e either anyone. the mother or the child. And uh, M yeah. uh, so there is no uh, M controversy as far as adult stem cells are used. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, Mr. Mayur Abe, and, and really simplifying a lot uh, of, of those uh, beliefs, really, about stem cell research, uh, and certainly a happy story with a happy ending there in Tamil Nadu. Absolutely. Uh, perhaps the perfect moment for us to slip into a quick break here on India at Last.